Maya is excited. She's about to go on a walk through the Australian bush with her uncle Greg. She can't wait to see lots of native animals and plants in their natural surroundings. These native animals are pretty special because they're only found in Australia and have lived here for a really long time. But first, she needs to get some healthy fruit to pack for lunch. Outside, in her backyard, Maya has a mandarin tree that produces lots of plump fruit. Maya reaches up and grabs four juicy mandarins from the tree, two for her and two for Uncle Greg. Just then, Maya notices something. There are lots of half-eaten mandarins on the ground. This can only mean one thing, states Maya. A fruit thief is about. Don't worry, mandarin tree. When I get back from my bushwalk, I'll find out who is stealing and wasting your fruit. Honk, honk. Uncle Greg is here. Maya grabs her backpack and races out the door. She jumps in the car and off they go. After driving for a long time, they finally arrive in the bushland. Maya can't wait to look around at all the different plants and animals that live there. While Uncle Greg organises his bag, Maya sits down on the cold earth. It's a little cold in the shade, realises Maya. I might move over to that sunny patch instead. As she walks towards the sun, she feels its warmth. She also notices a little animal who is doing the same thing as her. Hello there, says Maya. Are you warming up in the sun too? A little grey skink, a type of lizard, moves closer to Maya's hand. Yes, I am, he answers. I need warmth from the sun to stay alive. I'm a cold-blooded animal. That means I'm not warm inside. I have to warm up or cool down by moving around in my environment, which is mostly the surrounding bushland. Is that why you feel cold on my hand? Maya asks. That's right. You are warm-blooded which means you are always warm on the inside, even if you feel cold on the outside. You have nice warm hands today. Can I stay here until I'm nice and warm? Of course, exclaims Maya. What other animals are cold-blooded, she asks. Lizards and other reptiles such as snakes are cold-blooded, insects, frogs, and nearly all fish are too. Wow! I didn't know so many animals have cold blood, replies Maya. What else do you need to stay alive? Well, just like you, I need air to breathe, food to eat and water to drink. My favourite foods are lots of different insects. Maya, time to go on our bushwalk, calls Uncle Greg. It was nice to meet you, says Maya, as she puts the little grey skink back down in the sunny patch. Maya walks on the path through the bush with her Uncle Greg. Look, Maya, a blue-banded bee, cries Uncle Greg excitedly. This is an Australian native bee. You can't find them in any country but Australia. It has blue stripes on its back. There's no need to be afraid of looking closely. This bee won't sting you, explains Uncle Greg. 